Hey y'all and welcome to Styles by Honey. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I achieve these knotless box braids on my TWA. That's right, my hair is less than 2 inches less and I was able to achieve these beautiful knotless box braids. Stay tuned. All right, so first things first, if you're new here, I want to welcome you to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. You don't know how much you mean to me. I love you so much. So, back to the video. Now, I already have a knotless box braid tutorial. I'll leave a card and I'll put the link for it in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm not going to be giving you any step-by-step -step instructions, but I do kind of want to talk you through what I was doing just so you can understand the process. You feel me? And as you all seen in the beginning of the video, if it had not been for She's Bomb Collection Edge Control, this hairstyle would have been impossible. Now, I'm going I'm to tell the truth. I'm going to be honest. It was nearly impossible. Can I tell you, I was so tired. Like, I was so tired halfway through. And I was like, why am I even doing this to my hair? Like, why did I cut my hair if I was going to add long braids? Like, <laughs> but anyways... I just want to let y'all know, She Is Bomb Collection Edge Control has been my go-to edge control, okay? Like, since I've started using it, I've been hooked. Shout out to She Is Bomb Collection. Shout out to Boss Hair on Instagram. She's a young black business owner. She has a whole collection of hair products. They're available in some local beauty supply stores and most local beauty supply stores and now in select Walmart locations. And it's also available online on her site. So shout out to her. Y'all go ahead and grab y'all some shiz bomb collection so y'all could be laid like me. Okay. Okay, so one thing that I did do a little bit different that I wanted to explain to you all. Um, as I was adding in the hair for these knotless braids on my hair, um, I was noticing that the ends of my hair were sticking out and it was like it was kind of hard for me to grip it and tuck it underneath the braiding hair um, just because I couldn't see so what I did to keep my ends from coming out on showing when I could remember I would add the hair over the braid kind of like a Ghana braid so you see like a feeding braid is similar to a Ghana braid but with a feeding braid you can see the braid pattern like the, the stitch pattern I guess is what it's called with a Ghana braid you can see the little pieces of braiding hair added on top of the braid so when I could remember I was trying to add the hair over top of the braid only where my natural hair was ending so I was starting off like a regular knotless braid you know I can't add too much hair because my hair is too short so that's why they're starting off so skinny and once I got near the end I was trying to wrap the little pieces of hair around so that my little pieces of natural hair wouldn't peek through once it start getting old or if I get wet or whatever and yeah, I'm sure you noticed by now. I colored my hair again. I don't know. I didn't like the black little afro that I had when I did my big chop. So I ended up coloring it. And then the colors turned out so bad because I still had damaged parts. And yeah, so I figured I'll just cut it all off. Whatever. <laughs> I'll cut it off again. Let's go another big chop. Because when I did that big chop video, um, I didn't cut all of my damaged ends off. And I quickly realized that once I colored my hair, because it turned out all different kinds of colors, 
so then I put another color over it I put a rinse over it I didn't like the rinse color I feel like everybody in the world had that color so then I put another light in there on top of it <laughs> whatever anyways back to the video I wanted to show you again how I added hair onto these braids to make them longer because these braids are down past my knees so instead of just adding hair in the beginning i was adding hair all throughout the braid so once i got down like to the middle of the braid i started adding like little tiny pieces i thought i had more clips in that but i didn't so and another thing these bottom two rows that i have i ended up doing these braids way smaller than the rest of my braids because i thought that i was gonna like do tiny braids in my head but i got lazy with my parting in the middle i was doing these late at night so uh, i did what i could do and i was trying to get it done but anyways i got lazy towards the middle with my parting and i kind of did the braids bigger once i got towards the top because i wanted to hide my parting which I wasn't able to do. I didn't want that spaced out, not lit spray look that a lot of people are wearing. Even though it's cute, it's just, it wasn't for me right now. You feel me? Alright, so I ended up having to blow out my hair because my hair is just way too thick in the middle. I don't understand how I'm bald headed and my hair is still too thick. Like, it's crazy. It's a little bit longer on the top, as you can see. Um, I blew out my hair, I added heat protectant and a little, a little bit of heat protectant because I was making it slippery. And I added a little bit of Mama Pearl's natural hair butter um, just to moisturize my ends because, as you can see, they are very thirsty, okay? I ended up adding a color patch um, to these braids. Um, I had this green hair for so long, and I just really wanted to see what it looked like on me. And I came up with the idea. You know what? I'm gonna do green, yellow, and red. Pan Africanist colors. Ghana colors, you feel me? Rasta colors. Um, it's a little bit off. The green a little bit bright, but I worked with what I had and it ended up looking really pretty with this um honey custom mix like brownish like little thing I had going on. Like I got some ombre braids, I got some just plain braid, like solid color, I got some all jumble up color braids, like I like it. It ended up coming out really, really cute in the end. Then these days, I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to be them you need me. It feels like the only time you see me is when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And last night, I think I, I was thinking about stop talking night. so I could just let y'all enjoy the background music and watch me do it, but. Don't y'all enjoy hearing my voice? Like, <laughs> isn't my voice amazing? My husband says that I sound like Tony Braxton, but I think I have a beautiful voice. Not to say Tony Braxton ain't got no beautiful voice, but I don't think my voice that deep. Now that I'm at the top, um, you could go ahead and just disregard those rubber bands. Um, I had this top section of my hair left for so long, and my mom came to part it for me, and she put it in rubber bands to keep the part. So that's what's that there for. I'm been I take the rubber bands out before I start adding the hair. So. Um, one thing I wanted to mention about the Shea's Bomb Collection Edge Control, um, when you add it to your hair, you always have to smooth it out into your hair in order to get the best results. So, that's why when I was putting the edge control onto my hair, I was also combing it and smoothing it before I started adding the braiding hair. Yeah, we give tongues like we need it the most.
course We have to give thanks like we're really supposed to be thankful Blessings up on my life, man Oh, that feeling when you on that last grade. Y'all don't know how happy I was to be on this last grade. Oh my goodness. So y'all watch this and y'all watch closely because this is the last grade. You see me? Uh-uh. Braid down. Add a little piece of hair. Braid down. Add another piece of hair. Braid down. Etc. Etc. <laughs> by the way, get into these minks by honey. They keep a stem a little bit. You see a little clip or whatever. These are the junglest minks by honey, which are available on my website, stylesbyhoney.com. So I am finally done. Now I just have to lay my baby hairs and I don't have baby hairs. So I just left a little bit of my edges out. Now for my edges to give it that extra, extra hold, not only do I apply the She Is Bomb Collection edge control, but I also put a layer of gel on top. And I already had this bottle of Gorilla Snot, so I'm gonna use it until it's through, okay? And then I will be grabbing me a bottle of the She's Bomb Collection Bomb Goo, I believe the name is. Um, I really wanna try that out. So y'all go get y'all, y'all go get y'all edge control, y'all go get y'all Bomb Goo, she has foam, she has growth drops, she has a lot of natural products. I mean, she has a lot of products and they're good for natural hair. So, go check that out. Now I have my Mama Pearl's natural hair butter and I'm going to put that all over my fingertips and grease my scalp basically. I moisturized my hair before I started, but I love this hair butter and not just because it's my mama's, not just because I sell it on my website, southbyhoney.com, but I love this butter because it just gives my scalp that tingling feeling and then I follow that up with my mixture of Wargrove growth oil and castor oil. And this is the finished look. <laughs> I love it. I didn't finish my ends, but you can't even tell. You can't even tell. I love these braids. And if you love them too, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And even if you don't love them, give this video a thumbs up anyway. And I wanna shout a big, big thank you. To all my new subscribers and supporters, I love y'all so much.